spring going for you, Bobby? Is it Bobby or Trey? Uh, what's your one? You want to call me? It really like, don't matter. You don't have a preference? Well, Trey, my mama gave me that name. It was like, and it was like a family name. And then like people in college just started calling me Trey, so. Are you like Bobby the third, or it's just somebody, you, a lot of guys named Trey in your family? No, nah, it was, I'm the third. Okay. So, okay. Right. but uh, spring is going well. It's hot, <laughs> That's about it. But it's going pretty well though. How are you liking your progress? Uh, I never worry about like my improvement. I always work harder every day. If you worry about your improvement too much, you'll get complacent with where you at. So I just try to focus on things to improve on each day. Like this day I need to do this, this day I need to do this. And Coach E, he let me know all things I need to work on. So I don't really worry about my improvement because it'll show up on the field. What's it like playing next to Matt BK? Uh, dangerous. Because <laughs> uh, BK is a wild child. But uh, other than that, it's pretty fun. It's really live. Like, BK is an energetic person. Is he like that all the time, though? I mean, like, when we talked to him last year, he was he was very, I don't know, subdued, but that's, again, talking to us. So. Well, I think BK don't want to be himself, like, in front of all the cameras. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but uh, when he's, he, it's like he's at his natural habitat on the field okay. and around us. Like, we like a family. What does that look like in the trenches? In the trenches? He's, when he's doing his thing. I see that every day. You seen Clemson when he almost busted out of his own skin after the sack? That's BK every day. What should we expect to see from you this year, though? I mean, stay tuned. You're having a, lo a, a larger role in the defense now. Stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Can you give us more than that? I can't give you more than that. No previews? <laughs> can't give you a preview. You Got to pay for that one. How, no, just uh, for how much in retrospect? How uh, What's word look but just just how hard did do the Alabama recruit you? Uh <laughs> pretty hard. Especially when they got Coach Banks. <laughs> uh, pretty hard. Yeah. I still got a lot of respect for the work they put in to get me. So uh what what was about A and M that uh, made you uh come here and and, and shun Alabama? Well the uh, the known factor is one because at the time I was a DN, the known factor was Coach Price was here. Okay. And the unknown factor, Alabama was I didn't know my coach. Because on signing day, he went to the NFL. So it was like, I didn't know. Like, I just didn't know. So it was kind of like last minute. I just came here because I knew Coach Price was going to be my coach. You played quite a bit of DN last year. Do you think on running downs you might see that sometimes? Or do you, you try to settle inside? I pray I don't. <laughs> That's a lot of running. They can have that DN. You like it better in a phone booth? Yes, sir. Keep it tight. Were you were you expecting to bust out and grow this much and grow out of being a defensive end, or how did that work out? Food. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I didn't expect to uh, get this big. But Smitty, he got me right there. So I, I definitely didn't expect to be this well, big. You said food. What? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you ate a lot when you were in high school. So what was? No, nah, in high school I actually didn't eat as much. I ain't eat. Like, I used to only eat a lot when my mom cooked. Other than that, I didn't really eat a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I used to drink a lot of water. <laughs> so what do you weigh? What's your percentage of body fat right now? Uh, my percentage of body fat, I think it's 25, and I weigh 330. You liking it that way? You think you're, are you carrying it well? I feel like I carry it well, but sometimes, you know, the stomach make it hard to breathe. That's about it. What's the biggest key to like adding those pounds though, but still being able to keep your agility that you had when you were slimming? Uh, core workouts and working on my get off all the time and just working on explosiveness in my hips, but uh, not trying to be cocky. I like I always been naturally quick and fast. I just need to keep progressing at that. Do you feel like that agility is still there though? Yes, sir. I just feel like it ain't. When I was 260 in high school, it definitely ain't that. <laughs> so were you born and raised Arlington or in that area? Or? No, sir, I moved around a lot my whole life, but I was born in Mississippi, Bruce, Mississippi. SEC country. Hey, yes, sir. And uh, so what were your first memories of Texas A&M football and things like that when you look back on it? My very first memory of Texas A&M football. Okay, I remember very first game I came to, I didn't know they stood the whole game. So I'm sitting down, and this old lady tapped me with her cane. She was like, what are you doing, son? Stand up. I was like, oh, yes, ma'am. Like, I, I didn't know. I was sitting there on my phone, 
Now I sit back down and then she tapped me again. She was like, I'm not gonna tell you again. You better get up. I was like, oh yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Was, what do you think she would have done? She probably would have beat me with it. <laughs> you remember what game that was? I want to say it was, uh, I'm trying to think. I can't remember exactly what game, because I ended up going in at halftime because my mom back was hurting. So I'm like, I don't really remember much. Was, was Miles Garrett much of an influence? Being oh yeah, when I, when I seen uh, Miles Garrett, because honestly, I'm not gonna lie, when I was in high school, I didn't think, personally, I was like D1 material. So I used to look at like smaller schools. But uh, when I seen Miles Garrett and then I realized this school is recruiting me to basically like replace him, I, I kind of like, was like, yeah, like I want to come to this school. Why did you not think you were Division I material? Well, it took a, I don't know. I was like, cause I had Chris Owens at Alabama, Shane Bouchelle at, uh, from Texas, Kofi from Arkansas, like all of them was there when I was a sophomore. And so they was only getting looked at, like I wasn't getting looked at, but by smaller schools. And then I ended up moving positions. I didn't get my first offer until I went to offensive tackle for a little bit. You guys saw up against the offensive line all spring. Coaches talked about those battles. How was that group improved? Uh, Ryan is one nasty. He had, um, try to catch my words. He, he's nasty. Like. He he be hurting. He fight every day. Uh, Prater, he's not the biggest guy, not the strongest, but he gonna give all every play. And I want to say uh, we probably got the, two of the smartest tackles in the SEC, like Dan and Carson on them calling out plays and recognizing plays and blitzes and picking up on things. They're they're pretty smart. And their Hawker, oh my God, that he's so strong. Bro. It's, it's ridiculous. And going up against them, how does that make you guys better? Well, it makes us have to work that much harder if we don't want to hear Coach Elko mouth the whole time. <laughs> what guy's battle with you and Peavy? Me and Peavy? Peavy, oh, that man is so goofy. But, like, the thing I love about Peavy, he know how to separate work and fun. Like, he have fun, but, like, when it's time to work, it's work. But he don't make work work. Like, he make it fun, if that makes sense. With guys like Kingsley and Landis moving on, how much more does that put, I wouldn't say pressure, but how much more is that put the uh, leadership in you and Matthew Casey? Uh, well, I feel like one or two people shouldn't be singing out, especially not on the defense. Because for the linebackers to be good, D-line got to be good. For the safeties and DBs to be good, linebackers got to be good. So I feel like the pressure is on us as a defense. And we here for the fight, so. You said stay tuned for yourself, but can you give us any insights of what we can expect from Michael Clemens? We're hearing a lot about him. I don't think Coach Elko want me to do that. <laughs> do, you, do you remember what grade you were in when the old lady was wanking you with the cane? I was a uh, junior.